Shanghai is a city with over 150 skyscrapers, of which five are over 300 meters, 980 feet. Shanghai Tower is the tallest building in Luzhiazhuai, Pudong, Shanghai. It is the second tallest building in the world by height, and it also shares the record of having the world's highest observation deck within the building with the Ping'an Finance Center. Shanghai Tower is 128 stories, 632 meter, 2,073 feet tall. The top floor is 587 meters, level 127, and the observatory is 562 meters, level 121. It's designed by the international design firm Gensler and owned by Shanghai Municipal Government. Gensler is an American architectural firm. The main architects of the project were Marshall Strabala and Jun Shuai, Shanghainese architect. The tower is designed in the form of nine cylindrical buildings stacked one on top of each other. A total of 128 floors are all enclosed by the inner layer of glass. Its exterior is made up of over 20,000 pieces of glass, each in a different shape, so it always looks to be warping a bit differently depending on which angle you look at it. Between the inner and outer layers, which twist as it rises to the top, nine indoor zones are the spaces for the public while visiting. These nine areas are stacked with public attractions, which include shopping malls, cafes, restaurants, private rooms, and retail spaces with panoramic views of the whole city. The unique twisted design of the Shanghai Tower is achieved by the transparent facade. Most of the buildings have only one facade with glasses to avoid heat absorption but the Shanghai Tower's double layer of glass helps to avoid either layer being opaque. The tower can accommodate around 16,000 people daily. It has elevators that can reach a top speed of 20.5 miles per hour, which were the fastest elevators in the world until 2015. There are shuttle elevators that work very efficiently, which increases the number of visitors throughout the observation deck at peak times. The elevators are well designed for the event of a fire and other emergencies. They are capable of evacuating occupants from specifically designed refuge floors, which are located at regular intervals throughout the floors. The Shanghai Tower is well known for its numerous green architectural elements. The owners of the building received several certifications from China's Green Building Committee and the U.S. Green Building Council for the sustainable design of the building. Gensler described the tower as the greenest superbuilding on the planet at that point. The building has features to harvest rainwater for internal use and to recycle a considerable portion of the wastewater. The tower has over 40 energy-saving techniques, including 200 wind turbines on its summit, which provides 10% of its power requirements. The design of the glass facade, which completes a 120-degree twist as it rises, is made to reduce wind loads on the building by 24%. That is an important factor considering building something so high in a typhoon-prone area. The inspiration for this comes from the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. The engineers tried to make the Shanghai Tower aerodynamic as the twisted form breaks the wind. This automatically reduced the number of construction materials needed. The Shanghai Tower used around 25% less structural steel than a conventional design of the same height. Due to this, the constructor saved an estimated $8 million U.S. in material cost. In 2015, the Shanghai Tower was the last addition to the group of three super-tall skyscrapers in the business capital of China. Funding for the tower's construction was mainly obtained from stakeholders, bank loans, and Shanghai's municipal government. The estimated cost of construction of the tower was a staggering $2.4 billion U.S. The construction work of the tower began in the year 2008 in November, and it was completed on 3 August 2013. The main construction contractor for the project was Shanghai Construction Group, a member of the association that owns the tower. A repetitive slip-forming process was applied to construct the core of the tower floor by floor. The tower's steel reinforcement had risen to the 18th floor by mid-2011. By late 2001, the tower's foundations had been completed and the steel construction had risen to the 30th floor. By the end of 2012, the tower had reached the 90th floor, standing around 425 meters, 1,394 feet tall. By April 2013, the tower reached 108 stories and with a height of 500 meters, 
It made the tower the tallest between the three adjacent super-tall buildings, the Jin Mao Tower, Shanghai World Financial Center, and the Shanghai Towers. On 3 August 2013, a construction crew laid the final structural beam of the tower, thus topping out China's tallest and the world's second tallest building. A ceremony was held at the site to celebrate that iconic moment. In January 2014, the crown of the tower successfully crossed the 600-meter, 2,000-feet mark, and the construction of the tower was in its final stages. The tower's interior construction along with the electrical systems were completed in late 2014. The opening was finalized during the summer of 2015. Unfortunately, since its opening, the tower has had many problems. Due to the absence of all the required permits from the local fire department, the tower failed to attract tenants and customers. In June 2017, around 60% of its office space was on lease, out of which only 33% of tenants moved in. This resulted in many floors vacant, making the tower half empty. The tower has an efficiency rate of only 50% on some floors compared to 70% of a typical skyscraper. The low occupancy rate of the Shanghai Tower can be seen at nighttime as almost half of the tower failed to light up. This was mainly because of the delays related to the opening of the luxury J Hotel on the tower's upper floors for many years. Until recently, on June 19, 2021, the luxurious five-star J Hotel finally opened. It covers most of the top stories of the tower, which includes a total of 165 rooms, 34 suites, with each offering a great view of the city of Shanghai. The hotel holds the Guinness Book of World Record for being the highest hotel in the world with all the required services. They provide a 24-hour butler service, along with access to the swimming pool and fitness center. A Reiki spa is also scheduled to open very soon. The Shanghai Suite, J Hotel's most luxurious and expensive accommodation, is located on the 98th floor of the tower. The suite has separate features like a parlor, kitchen, dressing room, and a physiotherapy area. The Shanghai Tower was completed at a disturbing time concerning the Chinese economy. The commercial occupancy rates in the city were falling, and the tower was asking tenants to pay expensive rents when they were looking for bargains. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, noted that the less competent commercial decision-making of China in its major construction projects may lead to its failure. In the year 2019, around 55 floors were vacant. Some of the present tenants include organizations and MNCs like Intesa, Alibaba, San Paolo, and Albright Law Offices. In 2020, major water leaks occurred from the 60th to the 9th floor of the tower. Many of the office equipment and electronics were damaged. The tower officials assured that the problem was fixed and an immediate inspection was taken on the floor where the leak originated. Many Chinese social media users criticized the leakage. There have been many concerns regarding the tower's finances that are unsurprising due to the huge amount of money invested in the tower's sustainable technologies. Despite being one of the biggest megastructures of human history, which pushed the very limits of engineering and was praised widely for its design, the Shanghai Tower is undoubtedly an iconic symbol of China, but it failed to be a monument of economic success for the country in its initial period. After four years into operation, maybe it's too soon to consider it as a failure. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video with some of the interesting and unique facts.